Yeah, I was not right about the outcome of last night's game, but quite frankly, I'm so incredibly numb to my Cowboys losing that nothing phases me anymore. And surprisingly, that's not my low. Um, what was my low yesterday? Hmm. Uh, I guess my low yesterday was, well, truth be told, before yesterday's video, I was actually kind of running late, because I, like, I slept in, because I was up late on Sunday night. Not very smart of me, I'll give you that. Um, other than that, nothing really. Uh, in terms of high, uh, let's see, what was my high yesterday? Honestly, yesterday was really uneventful. Nothing really created, like, a low or a high for me yesterday. But, I guess if I had to think of one high, I think it may be, oh, Gosh, I don't really know. Again, yesterday was just so completely out of... Oh, you know what my high was? I actually remembered to look up who... Because uh, usually around Monday is when they announce on Instagram who uh, the Hot Ones guest is. But I thought, hmm, maybe I could look it up now. And I was right. And uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. So, basically, I'm saving us the trouble of me trying to look up... Who's that? I'm guessing... Oh, it's that person. Okay, well, now, I can just tell you right now. But I'm going to wait until after do the low high night of kindness to do so. And speaking of acts of kindness, I actually um, ran home something to uh, my folks. Something uh, to make for, like, the holidays and stuff. So it'll be, uh, it'll be nice to see uh, where that goes. So um, with that taken care of and out of the way, good morning and happy Tuesday, everybody. It is Tuesday today. Um, well, I, I said it was Happy Tuesday. Um, right, so... This is a Hot Ones guest that I have no idea who that is. It's it's Sam Smith is who the Hot Ones guest is. And I will be honest, I looked up who he was. Apparently, he's like a singer and songwriter. I still have no idea who he is. It's just so... I mean... I guess one of the greatest strengths of Hot Ones is the fact, like, when it's a guest that I have no idea who that is, then it allows for the opportunity to learn more about them. Again, Billie Eilish's episode is a great example because I had no idea who Billie Eilish was. This is before her song, Bad Guy, reached, like, number one of the charts or something. Actually, hold on. I gotta look up. I'll look that up in a moment. Um... But, yeah, it should be interesting to see what, uh, what transpires in a couple of days. I just realized it's going to be the last, well, I just, um, I just, uh, today's the last Tuesday of the month of October. Yeah. Like, literally every single day this week will be the last day of October, in a way. Tomorrow will be the last Wednesday in October. Thursday will be the last Thursday in October. And so on and so forth until we get to Halloween, which is a Saturday. Which, were it not for how the world is right now, everyone would be going crazy. And I actually had a couple ideas for what I wanted to be for my costume. In fact, oh, keep in mind, I would, I mean, Saturday was going to be a day I was going to be in Corning all day. So I was not going to be able to dress up in that costume and, you know, show it off to you guys and again with how the world is you know um i don't really know what's going on i mean i have one because to be perfectly honest my plan was i actually have an orange shirt that's similar to this one that to be perfectly honest i could have worn already but considering that halloween is on a saturday i figured i'd wear it then and maybe sometime afterward because, again, we are getting closer to the winter months where, you know, I'm going to have to start wearing those uh, nice flannel shirts that you see me wear that have, like, um, actually, uh, when I wear those, 
you'll see what I mean when I wear them. But those flannel shirts actually have one other great use to them. And that's the fact that um, there's actually a layer of like wool like underneath to keep you warm. It's actually really cool. And I am going to be needing that for when we get to, you know, the uh, colder months. Which, um, let's be honest, no one's looking forward to winter. I mean, if, even now it just feels like we just got out of summer and now we're just, you know, moving ever so close to the winter. Which actually does remind me, I heard some grave news yesterday. Redis is going to be closing soon. I tried getting an ETA on that and they responded back by saying they're going to look at how the weather is going forward. Like, if you remember last year, they actually closed like a week earlier than they would have because we were supposed to get like this huge, massive snowstorm type thing going on. And give credit where credit's due, we did sort of get that, just not to the extent that, um, well, actually, it was, and it was pretty bad, but, you know, it's not like it was impossible to navigate through, impossible to do. This is actually, in fact, no kidding, last year we just closed, not a couple days after my nephews were born. And I just realized my nephews are going to be turning one in a little over a week from now. Holy cow. It's almost been a year already. Okay, that's really cool. Um, well, here's the thing. I actually, it's funny because uh, I was with my folks on Sunday and my mom had asked me where I was going to get my nephews because, you know, she's looking out for me in that way. And she showed me like, like a magazine, like of like those like, like catalogs of like children's toys you get for kids. And there was one for a mini trampoline, which one thing I don't think I ever really said before is I used to love trampolines when I was a kid. Like I jumped on a trampoline all the time. Like. Seriously, I must have gone for like so many trampolines because I used them so much. Yeah, they're not really built to last. So, there you, there you go. Um, with that said, I don't really know what, um, uh, oh, actually, what am I going to get for their birthday? I don't know. I had one idea that I might, that I might do. Actually, hmm, I think I have an idea. I think I might actually have an idea. But uh, I'm going to have to sort of play this one by ear because I really want to make sure I do it right. I mean, to be perfectly honest, even though my brother and my sister in law have Facebook pages, they never watch these or watch. Like, this would be like the one time they decide, you know, let's watch Nick's video. And then I reveal what I was going to do for my nephews. Basically, because, I mean, I just showed this off the other day. I make pickles. I think I might just do, because here's the thing. I plan on making myself a couple burgers for dinner later. And in my refrigerator, I made a quote-unquote secret sauce, which... If you guys don't know what secret sauce is, it's basically like every single condiment mixed together and boom, you have secret sauce. I actually plan, well, what I did was I had like two of those really tiny jars of like dill pickle and sweet pickle relish. So I emptied out those jars. I literally just washed them. They're drying in my like, like, sink, like right by my sink right now. You know, just like hang them upside down and you know, let air circulate through and by the time I get back later today, they'll be, they'll be dry. So I could make them each a jar of like very simple pickles. And by simple, I mean like, you know, white sugar, white vinegar, salt, water, done. And you know, obviously 
whatever vegetable I would use, probably cucumbers just because. Well, here's the thing. They'll be turning one, and I'm not entirely sure what a baby can fully have yet. I mean, again, I just described what the brine is going to be. And again, it's most likely going to be cucumbers. I don't really know if, they, I still know if that'd be safe. Like, I'm just keeping it at that. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, no seat, no special ingredients. Cause here's the thing, I could, I mean, I've made enough pickles to where like, I've used honey making pickles, I've used brown sugar, I've used maple syrup, I've used apple cider vinegar, red wine vinegar, well, I've used them all. In fact, I have a bunch of dill pickle onions in my refrigerator, I haven't even opened since like the morning of October 5th. I want to see how long I can go before I can no longer resist the temptation. Because if you know anything about uh, pickling onions, they're the best, hands down. You gotta keep the best yourself, you know. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think I might actually wind up doing that, but I'll have to, I'll have to see. Plus, if I am going to do it, I really want to make sure I do it correctly. So, maybe we'll, uh, we'll just have to see about that, won't we? Um, yeah. I think I might, I think that's what I might actually do. I'll have to, um, have to see about that. Um, <laughs> I still can't believe it. It's almost been a year. My nephews are turning one. Man. It just flew by. Well, it flew by, but not under the best circumstances. I mean, again, the way the world is right now. It's just... Whenever I think about it, this entire year was just a huge missed opportunity. And it was only missed because of COVID-19. Because I had planned on doing so many things. more A lot more than what I showed off, actually. I mean, some things wound up being exactly according to plan. I mean, day 1000 for sure is exactly what I envisioned and what I wanted. You know, yeah, well... Almost. I'd give it like a 99%. The only thing that I would have done differently for day 1000 is maybe I would have worded something a little bit differently. But again, when you do this for over a thousand days, you kind of not necessarily know what you're getting into or what you're going to remember. In fact, it's one of the main reasons why I have thought about writing a book about it. But again... It'd just be so, it'd just be so hard to just come up with everything that had happened. I mean, I would try and make sure I got the most important things down. So, that, there, there's that. Although, if I ever did write the book, one thing's for sure, I would most definitely talk about how life got flipped, turned upside down via, you know, again, COVID-19. It should be fun, though. It should be... I mean... Again, in case you guys haven't noticed, I've been... First, in the beginning of July, I used the hashtag, you know, make make the rest of 2020 as, as the best it can be. And lately, I've been doing let's make a fourth quarter 2020 comeback. And unfortunately, with how everything's been going, and again, COVID-19... It's not going to be the easiest thing to do. It's it's not. And believe me, it's wearing me thin too. But it's not just like... I'm not going to let it completely destroy me. I'm, I shouldn't let it destroy me. You know, I have... You know, so much left to offer. And to let something is... It's arbitrary, but it's also incredibly, incredibly major. As what's going on in the world right now, you know, I shouldn't, I should just focus on like one day at a time, stuff like that. And 
Hopefully things will be better from here. In fact, I'm still holding out hope on a couple of things. One thing being right now is we actually do see chapter 1000 before the end of 2020. I mean, from what I know, there's no break this upcoming weekend. So maybe things are looking up. Let's see, 994 would be this upcoming Sunday. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. And if I look at a November calendar, hold on. Or actually, hold on, I need a full 2020 calendar. So the first weekend of November will for sure be uh, be dedicated to uh, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 1000. If there's no break between now and chapter 1000, the weekend of Sunday, December 13th will be chapter 1000. I mean, it would be pretty dope if I did a chapter, if, well, I just realized Monday the 14th is going to be kind of important. You know what? What I do on December 14th always takes precedent over what happens. I'll have to play it by ear then. Like, favorite, share, the subscribe button, follow me on social media, on YouTube. I am very humble to be this video for all of you guys watching your for today. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Remember, if you guys want to talk to Tamil, is going to be here to lend an ear and I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.